This video I'm going to show you how a guy with a major, major disability was able to actually lose his casual sex virginity and finally get laid using Tinder with all the screenshots from start to finish. So the story goes like this. This guy reached out to me a few months ago and he was like, hey Alex, I have cerebral palsy, but I'm a big fan of your channel. You know, do you think I could do a coaching session with you? And I was like, well, I honestly don't know anything about cerebral palsy. And I'm sure if you have a major disability, it's gonna be harder. I can do my app best, but you know, I don't know what I can promise you, right? He's like, yeah, no, no, I just wanna, you know, I've only ever gotten laid by paying for it, right? I just wanna actually, you know, get laid like for real, right? I was like, okay, let's see what we can do. So let me show you guys a video he sent me so you guys can get an idea of what exactly he sounds like. Yo, Alex, bro, thank you for all your coaching and everything that you're doing. I really appreciate all your help and what you do to the community. And so you can see this guy is not fucking around. Like, he has a major disability. He has cerebral palsy, which I really knew nothing about uh, before coaching called. Basically, it affects the way he talks. So he really has a hard time talking clearly. His voice is, like, really, really mumbled. It was really actually hard to understand him on the coaching call. I had to have him repeat everything, like, five times. Also, the effects, like, part of his face is just kind of, like, droopy and paralyzed. Uh, but he can't take care of himself. He can move around, right, by, his, by himself. He just has this major disability, which is extremely, extremely apparent. Now, I think a lot of guys in his shoes, even potentially me, would be like, okay, well, fuck it. Like, the best I can do is pay for it, maybe. Like, even that. Like, you know, that's the only th option I have. But... I gotta say, this guy has amazing, amazing attitude. He was like, hey, listen, I know it's gonna be a hundred times harder for me, maybe a thousand times harder for me, but I'm not willing to put in the work and I wanna make it happen, right? I was like, well, dude, I admire that. So, you know, I'll do my best. And I've been working with him. I, was, I haven't even charged him after the first coaching session. I've just been giving him feedback for free and trying to help him on Tinder. And finally, 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 he hooked up with his first Tinder girl. So let's take a look at the interaction and then we'll kind of go through this. And then we'll take a look at what are the big takeaways. So make sure you watch until the very end. All right, so first interaction. So this is an opener he got for me. So I guess we're dating now. She's like, is that so? Seems so. How's the Tinder life treating you? I can't tell enough, but just an experiment. Haha. -ha. What are you looking for? Boyfriend, something casual, friends, neither. What are you looking for though? What's up? I just want to be friendly. So this is an Asian girl, right? So when you ask a fob Asian girl, what are you looking for? You're going to get an answer like this. Like, oh, I just want to be friends, blah, blah, blah. Uh, cool, let's meet up for coffee or drink sometime. Yeah, sure, why not? He says, cool, let's plan something or what's up, it's easier, what's your number? And he gives a number, right? Because I told him you want to, you know, go for the clothes, you know, pretty easily, right? Before he used to banter too much and he used to just shoot the shit, right? And the interaction will never go anywhere. So he's, hey, it's Blah from Tinder. Hi, uh, is your real name? Yes, is blank your real name? Blah, blah, blah. Is, is your picture, is a real you? Cool, yes, my picture is real. Are your photos in your profile real? Yeah, great. How old are you, by the way? I'm 30 and you. So it's not like the best text game ever, right? But it's definitely better than what he used to do. Older than you, so you met numerous girls here. Just a few here and there. My work keeps him pretty busy, though. So you met numerous guys. So yeah, he's making a mistake that he's just like repeating. He's parroting what she's saying, right? But again, you gotta keep in mind, the place where he was coming from is he had only ever gotten laid from paying for sex, right? So this is a big step up. Uh, she, uh, she says, oh really, I'm not used to Tinder, just try for now, just chatting, what do you keep busy, hanging out with friends, work on my business and personal development, you, so he keeps saying and you, which is a mistake, personal development, so broad, I work as admin assistant, uh, so he says, books and like courses, cool, you like reading, smart, mostly listen to audiobooks, haha, and one of the things I taught him is, uh, you know, because you have a disability, you have a hard time communicating, right, uh, when you go on a date with a girl, like, you're gonna have a hard time, at least initially until she gets used to talking to you, it took me like at least half an hour of talking to him on the phone before I started getting custom to his voice. So it makes sense to banter and vibe a little bit over text so you're not going into cold turkey versus a guy like me, I have the luxury of not doing jack shit over text, just getting the girl to meet up and I can do all the heavy lifting in person. Well, he doesn't really have that luxury. Uh, so here they're texting, you're searching for an intelligent person. Uh, he says, hi, ah, no, I'm searching for a cool girl I have chemistry with. You met, what are you looking for? If you're here and there, hi, you staying here for a long time, about nine years now, and you, six years, cool. When are you free to meet up? So again, this is just, just some basic back and forth, nothing special here at all. Are you living in the city? I live in blah, 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 and you, almost one hour travel, I'm just in the city. So also logistics here weren't that great. This guy actually lives in the Middle East. I don't want to give his location, but he lives in a more liberal uh, Middle East country. Uh, but you know, being an hour away from the girl, especially in the Middle East, that makes things even more challenging. So he says, hi, don't worry about that. I can send you an Uber. Uh, he said, if I finish my stressful paperwork, maybe I'll have time. When can we tentatively plan for? Are you free on holidays next weekend? Exactly. Actually planning to go blah, blah, blah for the long weekend. Which evening? What are you free after your work? So here's just logistics. Uh, 
So just logistics, then she brings up the age control. Still interested, even though I'm older than you, 10 years, right? Uh, he says, yeah, age is just a number. Ha ha, you got porn, you have a girlfriend. No, I'm single, do you have a boyfriend? So he's parroting her way too much. But again, you have to keep in mind, the place where he's coming from is really, really basic. So this is a major, major improvement for him. I think you're your chick i think your age your chick boy am i right it's so funny she thinks he's like a player or something like that uh he's like haha no i just want to be a cool girl of chemistry with cool what evenings do you want to meet up haha you're comfortable at that time yeah not a big deal at all haha maybe if only a cup of coffee is it fine sure no problem good is it said then what evening do you want to meet up so here's just more logistics logistics uh we're gonna skip forwards only if you hesitate, not at all, good, you will come to city. So tomorrow evening, 10 p.m. is confirmed, like appointment, yeah, sure, I've never been to blah, blah, city. Great, don't worry about that, I can send you an Uber. Uh, Uber, better to me in city. Uh, so here's uh, a little bit of a logistical frame battle, right? So he says, don't worry about that, the Uber will know where to go. <laughs> yeah, I know, but do you mean by car lift, maybe it's not safe? So here he's got to get over the safety concern, no Uber is legit legal tax app like Kareem. So you can do, he doesn't live in America, basically, because in America, everyone knows what Uber is, right? Uh, there, But where he lives is actually more difficult, I think, than America, right? I think he would actually have an easier time in the States because, again, Middle East, they have all sort of other issues. There's like that here, uh, haha, I'm not a day, ha, no worries, wow, Mason, seriously, you want to meet and blah, blah, yes, don't worry, I'll book an Uber for you, but it's far, how will I get back, um, blah, 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 he says, yes, we can book it 20 or so, haha, not much go in going outside, yes, we are, blah, 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 she's like still afraid, he says, it is safe, don't worry, Uber is legal and safe taxi service here, yeah, but I'm not familiar in the place, like Stranger Things, he says, so oh, it's okay, he will pick you up at your place, I'll meet you when the Uber drops you off. Now, one of the other things I was telling him, uh, what he was doing before we started working together, he was going on a bunch of public dates, right? And again, what was happening is he wasn't really telling the girls that he has a disability, so he was just showing up on a date and the girl would be like, whoa, like, what the fuck, right? That's way too much of a shock, so I'm like, listen, First thing you gotta do is you gotta casually, first of all, we gotta put in the bio that you have a disability. Then you gotta casually mention it to the girl over text, so it's not a surprise. And lastly, you wanna set up the date straight to your house, right? So at that point, the girl is really, really invested, right? So you're not just going to a coffee shop, especially or going to a bar where you can't really communicate clearly, and then the girl's like, what the fuck? Uh, she's like, can I think about these first? So you don't have to know where everything is. Why so? Because he will pick you up at your place. So here, there's coordinating. She's like, can I think about this first? The Uber knows me, but I don't know. What do you need to know? He's driving and he, he knows where to pick up and where to drop off because I put the locations. Uh, yeah, so it's okay. You won't be lost anywhere. So you're saying I'm safe with you when you plan to drop me exactly. Of course, don't worry. Don't worry, I gave up on serial killing years ago. Ha ha, so that's one of my lines. Ha ha, you make me feel nervous. Do you have any other latest picks? So he sent her pick. I will search you in a wanted list. Ha ha, ha ha, go ahead. Joker only sent me one as well. Thanks, so see you tomorrow evening. See you then. Do you like wine? Good morning, occasionally you like wine, rather coffee. I'm cool with either girl. We should split a bottle of wine in my new apartment, see how the chemistry is, sounds good. Can't we meet at a coffee shop instead? Are you a scientist, stranger danger? No, why? Ha ha, you got it, because you like chemistry. <laughs> She's making <laughs> some worst joke. Ever. Ha ha, we can go for a walk outside first. Uh, so that's a line I got, you got for me. Maybe a good idea. Thank you. Cool. So see you tonight at 11. So here's just more logistics. More logistics. We're just going to skip through that. And then here he drops the line that I told him to use. Have you ever dated a guy with disability before? Right? I told him not to bring this up too early. Put it in your bio, bring it up later on in the conversation, right? Because you don't want it to be a surprise for her. Uh, what disability, physical, emotional, just physical, honestly, no, like no limbs, arms, or legs. Haha, now just walk and talk different. I know there's a medical term for your case, uh, like slurred speech, it's cerebral palsy a little bit. So again, if you have a disability like that, it's a good idea to tell the girl, you don't want it to come out of nowhere since when. So here they're just talking about, uh, you know, disability. So she's like, so you match alone with assistance, alone, completely independent. Haha, am I exaggerating? Extremely, haha, I apologize. I also told him that when he talks about it, talk about it very matter-of-factly, like it's no big deal. Don't make a big deal out of it. It's, it's like you're telling her, yeah, I have a dog, right? Like you're not gonna make a huge deal out of it. You're just gonna be like, yeah, I have a dog. Yeah, he's Siberian Husky. Yeah, he's three years old, right? Just talk about it with that kind of attitude. Don't overblow it. Don't make it a bigger deal than it actually is. Uh, so here she's asking him a question. Uh, he says he has his own online business. Uh, so here's just more banter, uh, man, uh, just some more banter going uh, here. Uh, then he says, uh, I work in my business, spend time with friends and personal development, and you work, blah, blah, blah. So here she's just answering uh, the questions. Ha ha, correct. Is 11 still a good time? So confirming uh, the logistics. Good evening, you have something for tomorrow? No, I'm good, you want earlier? She's like, I'm still at the office. 
Uh, so here's just more logistics. Uh, and then she's like, thank you, did you eat? About to eat now and you eat well. I was about to go home. So here she's casually hinting at dinner, right? But I told him, no dinner dates until you hook up with the girl. Cool, I'm about to hop in the shower, text me when and where to send the Uber to come pick you up. Sounds good, I just got home to eat my location. So here she gives him a location. Cool, let me know when to book the Uber, I think I'm hungry. No worries, just eat and do what you need to do to get ready, then let me know when you're ready and I'll book the Uber. So <laughs> it's good. Now you can in a situation like that be like, oh, I have a fridge full of food and just give the girl some food that you have at your house. That's totally fine. But you don't really want to take her out for dinner on the first date. Like there's a, people get tired after they eat. You get like, you know, just sleepy. And also it's just not a good vibe to set. Uh, so here's just more logistics. No problem, almost ready. Uh, so here the recording, no problem. Let me know when you're ready. How many minutes will it come? So. Uh, she asked how much for the Uber, so she was actually willing to pay for it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, in a situation like that, when the girl's willing to travel all the way to you, like, the burden is on her of doing all that stuff. Like, I just recommend paying for the Uber. It's not a big deal. It costs, like, $15. Uh, she's like, ha half, you will buy me coffee. So she's really, like, if you're thinking, like, oh, she's just using him for the Uber, right, as if that's even the thing, uh, she's offering to pay for half of it. We have coffee in my new apartment, ha ha, who's with you? So notice how he also positioned this. Initially, she really wanted a public date, but he was able to reframe it and get her come over and especially for him like with his disability that could be a game change all right for like a guy like me it doesn't not really a big deal i can go for a walk with the girl and pull her back to my place but again he has a hard time walking he has a hard time communicating so he needs to set up the situation so everything is working to his advantage. He doesn't have the luxury of having factors working against him because he's already, you know, has his disability working against him. Uh, also, you know, he lacks confidence because he's never actually hooked up with a girl aside from paying for it, right? So another thing he needs to do is just have more practice talking to girls. And also what I noticed about him is that when he's nervous, his, dis his speech problems get worse, right? So after we talked for a while, I noticed his speech got better because I think he was nervous when he was first talking to me. It's the same thing when he talks to girls. So I was like, listen, dude, like, I, you might not have a lot of success from cold approach, but go out and do it so you can get over your anxiety and just practice talking to women so you can slow down your speech and talk more articulately so women can understand you. Uh, so she says, who's with you? I have my own place. Wow, amazing, thanks, are you ready? Uh, so here he's booking the Uber. He's on his way. Uh, so here's just logistics. And so the first day they do not hook up, right? So this is an issue he was having. He was actually having like, after he started working with me, we improved his profile, improved his text game. He was having some girls. He's not a bad looking guy. He was having some girls come over, but he wasn't able to hook up with any of them. Again, I think what was happening, it was like way too much of a shock for the girl. Like you can see this guy really can barely talk, right? You really have to get to know him to understand him. And I think a lot of girls, while they may say like, oh, these things don't matter to me, it does fucking matter, right? So he was not hooking up with a lot of girls. I told him, it's okay, dude, if you need like, you know, more than one date to close, like that's okay. Like I'd rather have him go on a date with a girl, try, it doesn't happen, then go another date with her and keep trying and then maybe eventually it will happen. Um, so he says, thanks, was nice meeting you, same here. I'm home already, thanks, rest well, awesome, thanks for letting me know. Uh, you too, when did you want to meet again? Because I told him also, if he doesn't close on a date, to su suggest the next one when he's in person. I'd be like, yo, uh, you know, yeah, we can call it a night, but let's meet up another night, right? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, how are you today? Fine. Uh, notice her investment drops off a little bit, and that will happen if you have a date with a girl that you don't hook up with, right? But you can still get it back. Like you, my girlfriend, we actually did not have sex on the first date. I'm embarrassed to say it took me two days to close, right? So that will happen to anyone. Cool, when are you free to meet up again? Maybe next time, next Thursday evening after work again. I will go, pa pa pa. Oh, yeah, let's meet Thursday evening after that, then in two weeks. Let's see. So notice how her investment drops off. That will happen, right? Uh, but, you know, you can still make it back. Cool, see you then. Hi, busy. Hi, just woke up. Why did you eat? I'm distracted from my work. I was upset, right? So, this is this. So, here she's explaining why she was a little short with him earlier. Uh, about, but there's a good thing that he never got needy and started chasing her, right? He could have easily started blowing up her phone, which is what a lot of guys would have done, even ones who don't have any kind of disability. It would have been like, why does this girl not respond? They would have started chasing her, and then it would have been done. Uh, so she says, good, I want to burn our building. Haha, -ha, sounds like you need another distraction from your work. I hate them really, I can't cancel right now what I'm doing. You want to make a suggestion, let's meet after your work. Haha, -ha. you, you don't want me to go early. I said, work tomorrow, just a suggestion, it's up to you. Can I bring drinks? Sure, but I also have vodka and wine for you. I think whiskey or beer for me. Can you book for me at 9 p.m. what food you want, right? So, ooh, it's looking good. I don't have whiskey or beer now, but you're more than welcome to bring. Okay, great, no worries, I'll bring mine. So, uh, I here they're just talking. I'm actually gonna eat with my family soon. Maybe you eat something before you come. Uh, yeah, uh, so you want to bring food and eat it here? Yeah, like snacks. Okay, no problem, thanks. It's important to be flexible. No problem, see you later. Uh, so here he's coordinating the Uber. Uh, 
okay, so here's the Uber. He orders her again. Uh, he's here. And then they hook up on the second date. So I didn't get all the details, right? Because it's pretty hard to communicate with this guy, uh, you know, just because he has a hard time talking, but we usually text. But yeah, he told me he had sex with this girl. Uh, you know, he said he was so excited. Like I've never, he was like, dude, I'm so fucking happy. Like I thought that for the rest of my life, I was gonna have to just pay for sex. I didn't know I could have casual sex, but he can, right? It's gonna be a lot harder for him, but he was able to do it. That was amazing. Good night, rest well. Thanks, you too. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh, and now this girl's on his rotation, right? I, I, I remember that. So here's another screenshot he, told, he sent me from later on. Uh, so here they're talking about how they're gonna, whatever, like not get her pregnant. So he's like, she's like, I think condom is better than pills. We need to be safe. Okay, cool. You're right. Uh, let's stick with condoms then. Sure, she texts me, uh, him, hi, daddy. He circles that. So can you imagine, like, when you first heard this guy talk, can you ever imagine a girl telling him, hi, daddy, right? That's like most black pillars who are perfectly healthy and even somewhat decent looking can't even imagine that, right? This guy has a major, major fucking disability. Like, he can barely, barely communicate and talk. He has a hard time walking, and he was still able to get a girl, right? Uh, let's be honest, it took him a lot more work than the average guy to hook up with him, and now he has to on a rotation because he didn't give up. And I think we can all learn from his attitude, right? It, I was blown away by how positive and motivated this guy was, because I'll be honest, if I was in his shoes, had cerebral palsy, I don't know if I would have the willpower to, you know, keep learning game. Like, I think I would probably just get discouraged, right? But I think this is really an inspiration to how, with the right amount of willpower and effort, pretty much anyone can accomplish all this shit. It just takes your courage and you have to put in the work. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and show us that you're not a quitter either by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, clicking the bell for notification. Let us know in the comments if you found this video motivational if you want to see more content like this. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.